This video is sponsored by Noble Desktop. So when we're talking about bitmap files, uh, we're all concerned about getting the best quality we can, right? Quality, resolution, and file size are unavoidably linked. So um, if you, you know, increase the resolution, the file gets a lot bigger. Uh, if you make the file too small, too aggressively, then your quality is going to go down, etc. So what is the proper image size? How much resolution do you need in an image? How many pixels wide should it be by how many pixels tall? Well, it depends on what your intended use is. For print, the bottom line is you'd need 250 pixels per inch at the size you're going to use the image. So for print, we're thinking about resolution. And again, that resolution, the magic number is about 250 pixels per inch. For digital use, we don't care about resolution. For digital use, we care about total pixel dimensions. So how wide the image is by how tall it is in total number of pixels. And depending on your age and how long you've been working with uh, stuff on a computer, um, some of you will have trouble grasping this and some of you will be like, what's the big deal? If you come from a big print background, you probably have trouble giving up the pixel per inch thing um, because that's the way we've thought in terms of print forever. Uh, but if you come primarily from a digital background, you're kind of like, well, who cares? So again, print, you need to think about pixels per inch, but for digital stuff, we care only about total pixel dimensions. So how do you determine the resolution of an image? Well, in Photoshop here, uh, there's several different places to view it. One place is right down here in the bottom left. Uh, you can just uh, click here and it will show you the total width and total height and the resolution if you care about that, if you're thinking about print, okay? Um, so that's one place to view it. Another place to view it in Photoshop is to use the info panel and all the panels are in the window menu, of course. In the info panel, you can also see the uh, dimension information here, but in order to see that, that may not be on your screen yet, you need to go in here to Panel Options and turn that Document Dimensions option on. Uh, so then that will show up here. So you get to configure the info panel however you want it to be. So once you've determined what resolution your image is, what if you need to add more pixels or take some pixels away? to make the image bigger in dimension or smaller in dimension. Well, the place that that's usually done is in image, image size in Photoshop. However, you probably don't need to come here very often to reduce the dimensions of an image because you can successfully do that as you export pretty well. So we're going to see how to export easily from Photoshop and Illustrator and things like that in a little bit. Uh, and so we'll see how to downsample in those cases, how to throw resolution away to make the image smaller. But if you need to add pixels, this is the place to go. And the key here is to make sure that resample is checked. And let's just say that in this case, I need to make this uh, image um, 11 inches wide at 240 pixels per inch because I'm going to uh, use this in a big print poster or something. So I'm going to uh, change the dimensions to 11 inches, change the resolution to 240 pixels, and we can see now that it was uh, 2.66 megabytes in size. Now it's increasing all the way up to 13 megabytes because we're adding resolution. We're making it larger in pixel dimension. Um, and if I zoom in here and take a look at some of the fine detail here, um, when it, Photoshop has to add resolution, it has to like look at two pixels that are next to each other and figure out how to put uh, a bunch more pixels in between those neighboring pixels. And it can't just invent things very easy, right? It doesn't know what color to make those pixels that it's putting in between. Um, and so it uses various algorithms to do that. And if this is set to automatic, it does a pretty good job. But I would encourage you to switch this to Preserve Details 2.0. Preserve Details will do a much better job 
than um, automatic. You can see the difference here. Um, here's automatic. Here's preserved details. Um, does a nicer job of keeping the fine image detail and things like that. Um, what automatic does is automatic uh, uses the preserved details algorithm, which is pretty good, but 2.0 is a new new version, uh, which came out just recently, works much, much better. So for most images, if you're going to scale them up, you want to set this to preserve details 2.0, and it will do a reasonably good job. But if you have a real low-res image that you're trying to make huge, it's just not going to cut it. It's going to look pretty blurry no matter what you do. Uh, so you need to have some resolution to begin with in order to generate a, a better image. But this does a reasonably good job. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.